and we are here. I have both of my kids. Both of them. Uh, both of them. Both. Um, they are goofy and <laughs> sitting here being goobers. And she's playing with a Mario Kart turtle shell, <laughs> turtle shell, the red one. Uh, couldn't afford to get her the blue one. And I am Baron J six seven. And I am T Jones. Welcome back, bro. Welcome back, I bro. Like it's been, it's, I feel it's, like it's been forever. It's dude. been a minute. This is episode thirty three. Uh, it, it's it's been a while. Uh, we actually have a whole lot to discuss. Uh, we're not gonna bother with the excuses. Yeah. But um, we're back now. We are back now. Uh, shout out Tone Deaf Radio. Shout out Tone Deaf and the family. Yes, they are. And uh, before we start, please go take a take a second. Go to Spreaker.com forward slash Tone Deaf Radio and give it a listen, please. There's so much content on there. It's ridiculous. So much different context. So much different. Um, Opinions and factual stuff going on on Spreaker. That's what I let run. Uh, Tone Deaf Radios, um, all the episode, all their shows, all their different things they have going on. It's a lot of content. <laughs> uh, shifting, shifting parents. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Please, please go uh, click. Um, click the link below. Uh, it is actually in the link below. Spreaker. Uh, Spreaker. No, doc- it's not in the link below. We gotta adjust it. Oh, I thought it was. What do you nah, mean, bro? The links ain't in the links below. Okay, I'll check. We'll fix that. But yeah, that's we'll fix awesome. that. Yeah. Damn, yeah. it's not. Well, it'll be in the links below on this one. It'll be there. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, we got a lot to discuss. Uh, this is the week of Forsaken. I'm gonna call it the week of Forsaken. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Cade. Cade, Cade. Six. Rest in peace. He was the only hunter I liked in this game. All the Is other hunters are trash. Players? Huh? I'm Who, I'm comp- I'm talking about hunter mains, like people who main hunter. You uh, guys you. are trash, so keep that in mind. I think it would have been more epic if Zavala would have died. No, he can't. He, the Vanguard leader. Uh, He's a general. He don't leave unless he got to leave. And yeah. and he's and you know what this this DLC has has shown us this DLC has shown us that he's well reserved and gun ho to the people. Ah, uh, he's all about humanity. Yes, Earth. because it's like yo, we got to take care of what we got going on, our vision, this, that, and the third. He was like, yo, Cade dying is a, and yeah, Cade dying is is a really is. It's a terrible thing, but we still have a job to do. And, uh, you, you know, that was his point. Understandable, but I was more... I, I mean, that's why I main Warlock, because uh, I think, like, Ikora do. She was like, yeah. yeah, us for us not to do anything is cowardice. When I heard that, I said, I was like, shit, I had to drink some water. I, <laughs> I had to drink hey, <laughs> No lie, I almost did a trailer review. You should have. Um, I should have. You should have. It's all good though. Like I'm a I'm gonna look around the internet. I'm a scour. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing I like about Destiny, because um, what are we on year two? This or is year, one? year two. Destiny two year two. Destiny two year two. So I know for sure I got a solid year, another year out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and which I'll probably jump in year three like I did with D one. Yeah, um, but damn, you you're right because what DLC did you stop at? What DLC? Yeah, what DLC did you stop at? With the first one, with this one, with D with with D two, yeah, the before the first DLC. Oh, so you you haven't played Osiris, Warmind, Osiris. Osiris. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, you got a lot of shit to do. But you know what Forsaken does though? You don't have to play that. You could skip those and just go straight to Forsaken. Now, but, and I'm what I what I like. Um, as much crap as I talk about Destiny, and I'll bring up I'll bring up what happened on uh, on Twitter a bit. But um, as much crap as I talk about Destiny, when they get it right, they get it right. You, you know what I mean? It just it just bothers me so much that they have to go through a year and a half, damn near two years of growing pains mm-hmm. in order to get things right. When you 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 figured it out midway three quarters of the way on D1. 
So fa- you would have just faster than they did in D one though. Yeah, this, this yeah, is yeah. faster oh, than they did in D one. I can say but, that. But but my problem was, and I've said this, you can go on just by any podcast, that any episode about, actually, any episode we <laughs> talked about Destiny. My number one issue was, why did you have to completely hit the reset button? Now I know what it was. It was to get more people. Mm-hmm. Like I understand business wise what it was about, Man. but it just you. You literally figured it out. You had people who I didn't I'm not a completionist and I enjoyed it. Yeah. You know, you, you when you set up a game that all levels of people can enjoy, completionists, tryhards, um, collectors, like you you set up a game that was a first off a shooter. Yes. That was open world esque and and provided the RPG elements that RPG heads are looking for. Yep. You had all of that. And then you get to the new game, which you could have easily carried over all those things from that. And you said, nope, start over. That's what, you know what I mean? That's yeah. what threw me off. So I I own the game, but I'll wait. Yeah. And, I'll, and you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to say this uh, as like a true Destiny fan, though. Um, Bungie uh, Bungie gets to this point of... Um, and Bungie, lighting makes a difference. Look at that. Yes, it does, man. Turn that light back on, Shadow. Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, before I got disrespectful right there, you know. Um, Bungie, Bungie gets to this point where they decide to... Like, they always get to a point. Well, based from D1, all four years of D1 up until now, they get to a point where they have to say, let's break the game. Like, let's break the game, give everybody everything, and then we'll adjust it from there uh, just to get people coming back. And this is why when people were comparing Forsaken to the Taken King, I'm like, y'all ain't even played it yet. Like, how can we sit here and compare it to Taken King when we ain't even played it yet? Taken King was, if I had to say which DLC was the best out of them so far, uh, or from in D1 at least, Taken King was the best DLC raid-wise, everything. Because it gave everybody pretty much everything that they were looking for in Destiny. And adjustments to weapons, the meta shifted and changed. All of that stuff inside of the Taken King is what people wanted. Sword. Exotic weapon quests, all of that stuff was in there. So with with Forsaken, so far from what I've seen, the grind is there. It is grindy. Um, obviously, random rolls came back. We're not only random rolls on weapons, but random rolls on gear as well, which played a huge part in Destiny One and like setting up your character. Uh, what else? Uh, and and I haven't even dove all the way into it yet. I'm still yeah. playing. I'm still doing the the storyline. And that's only because uh, it's so much other things you can go and do. Like they brought back bounties, they brought back um, uh, Petra Venge. they brought back all of that stuff. The Prison of Elders is to return, so it's a lot of stuff that we can do so far in Destiny. So I'm right now. I'm playing it. I'm grinding. It. I've been back in Destiny since the the second week in Solstice of Heroes, and so far I like what I see. The bad fact. The you can't talk about Forsaken the DLC until you really talk about Patch 2.0 because that's the thing that shifted everything. It brought back radar to competitive. It brought back uh, the weapon slot changes where you can actually run three shotguns. You can run three snipers. You know all of that stuff is in the the game, so you can do all of that. They really gave custom ability to your character. To us, to a whole new level. Not now. See, to a whole new level, I would just say to well, us because well, it's still well, me, limitations on on things that you can do or you well, can't let me, do. Let me tell you this: those changes, what you just mentioned, are the types of changes I expected when I came into D two. Like changes such as full custom uh, customization. Like if you want to be the ultimate sniper hunter. By God, you're going to be the best damn sniper hunter because you got three sniper rifles and no, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why at first I wasn't expecting nothing like that, because this is why I say 
they always go to a point of saying, we got to break the game, not only to get people back, but just to get the get Destiny a whole new feel because three sniper rifles don't make sense in most of the situations that you deal through. They're, that's like 100%. a that's like a challenge thing that you want to do. Oh, I'm going to run through the raid with three sniper rifles. Oh, I'm going to run through the raid with three shotguns. Uh, that's like, you know, th- those are what the 1% PVE players do at to challenge themselves. But when you're dealing with like an everyday, like a casual player or someone like me who when I go to do a raid, I just want to get in and get out. I'm not trying to be in there challenging with nobody because half the time I don't know everybody that's I'm playing the raid with and I don't want to be in there too long. So to run like to run three sniper rifles in Crucible, you're de- you're more of a detriment unless you're the best. You're like a god with a sniper <laughs> with a sniper rifle. You're a detriment to your team more than you're a help to your team. You see what I'm saying? So sure. with them doing that, that was cool. Like I was like, all right, well, you know, we'll, we're going to get these montage clips now. Like this is for the the PVP montage clips. But then they, you, you can run like three shotguns. You can run dual, dual submachine guns. You can run um, two fusion rifles or one linear okay. fusion rifle and one now- fusion rifle. Now this is this is a question to somebody to you, mm-hmm. um, who is a true fan of the game. Outside of story, I'm trying to ask this. I guess from a technical standpoint, yeah. What was what is drastically different from a technical standpoint, not story driven wise, from D one till now. So comparing now to year three D one, um, year three D one to now, yes. Jurassic, there's not really anything different when it comes to that, other than like story and all of that. Like you said, not even yeah. story. There's nothing really different to the game, other than um, the three weapon things. Like the the three weapon things that's different. Um, collections. Something okay. that they should have had. That's amazing. I, I thought the concept of that was dope because now I can delete my favorite gun from year one and not worry about it because I always have it. Even though I may not ever use it again, but I always got it. I can always now, go back and pick that gun back up. Now, now that's... The, oh, go, ahead, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I kind of answered the, your question already. The The reason I asked that was because though those are the changes that I expected. You know what I mean? That mm-hmm. embodied that embodied what I expected to change. Mm-hmm. I wanted give me give me adjustments to an already great game to make it that much more greater. Don't yeah, break the game and give me something new. Well, now, we, we, I'm, talking, I'm talking about something that's already a year in the past. Clearly, yeah. we're dealing. But with no, you you have you have to you have to use it. You can't talk about this without talking about D1 because. The changes that they made in D1, the same stepping stones is the same path they're going down now. Because some of the shit that they did in D2, year two, or right now, um, they're going to change some of this stuff. Titan, insurmountable skull for it. That shit's going to change. These motherfuckers is running around rampant in Crucible. Literally running around, shoulder charging, killing people one hit. I heard about that. And that's, yeah. it, it's, 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 cr- it's crazy. Um... Like I said, they have to do, they do things like this, break the game for a minute, then reel it back in a little bit. Like, hey, we're going to nerf trace rifles because that shit's ridiculous. People is one plating callus. They're one plating a raid boss with the cohort now. And remember, and the cohort before was the ultimate raid weapon for skulls and for damage because the longer you hold the trigger, you're, you're doing more damage. But now people is easily one phasing callous with the whole amount of buffs. Now, the one thing I I can say that's different from year two to year one is the amount of buffs that you can give your team. Like there was buffs in D1, but it was like specific situations. We have guns that can I can shoot this guy with my, uh, for example, my favorite gun now uh, as a support player is the tractor cannon. Because okay. with the tractor cannon, I shoot an enemy. Now, any damage, any damage other than void, gives it a thirty percent increase in damage. 
but any void damage gives it a 50% increase in damage for about 10 seconds. So that's a lot if you're cranking shots. Yes. So now especially on a boss. So people so even like Destiny has never been like a numbers game unless you were really technical. Like you were optimal mm-hmm. DPS is the the coin term in the, the community now. But you're sitting here no one's actually looking at numbers until D2 started because of the amount of stuff that they put in the game. Now they got timers that will let you know when your buff is done. Now they got all this other stuff with your uh, with your character that can help now that can help out your team. For example, rally bar- barricade with the Titan. Now you don't have to crouch. I can just stand next to it and I'll get the the rally barricade buff and my gun automatically reloads itself for a certain amount of time. Luna faction boots. Year year 1 Destiny 2 or D2 year 1, you had to step out of the rift, then step back in the rift to get the automatic reload. So now you don't have to do that no more. So and then that buff as long as you have the boots on, anybody any ally that steps inside the rift gets that buff. So they went out of their way to make support you supporting friends or allies pretty much a lot easier or a lot much better in D2 than they did in D1. So that is something that's kind of different because it was in D1, but it wasn't so heavily like for like now I, I haven't even gotten it yet, but the warlock, the solar super that it has is a, is a sword. I stab a sword in the ground and anybody that's standing in it gets ultimate healing power and they do and their damage output is raised a little bit. So they, they kind of really turned it into like that, Hey, we, you know, people are going to be looking at the numbers. People are going to be paying attention to, you know, damage outputs. They're going to be looking so at. They, they, when I when I hear that, I'm hearing they they bumped up the RPG factor. Pretty much when it comes to that, yeah. So now you can find a whole bunch of channels on YouTube and all over the place that that go over numbers with you. That breaks down damage output and breaks down the optimal gun to use in certain situations and they're all over the internet so you for sure can find something like that so yes they did amp up the rgp the the, the rpg factor to destiny 2 which and i like i like that stuff that's a good thing yes it is because it in when you compare destiny to games like i'm gonna use warframe warframe is a great example because that's that's that breaks it down technical. Like if you want to run a full solar build, like where you're ultimately, and you 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 can run something like that in D two, but in Warframe it's so technical that it's almost it it's it's real like um what did you say? It's like it's like intimidating to look at everything that's going uh, on on oh Warframe, yeah. whereas in destiny it's simple like you yeah click your subclass and you click which tree you want to run and then that's that and you know what man when um and i i use this in a very broad strokey way when i when i think of pc games especially pc heavy mmo rpgs um even mmo shooter rpgs such as warframe Mm -hmm. i always always put them on a more technical scale like if i see a easy to play and pick up PC MMO RPG. I almost think it should just be a console game. Yeah. Or or I would compare that to a console game. That's a better way to say it. Yeah. I don't I would never there's not too many games I would compare Warframe even though that is a console RPG. But let's the, be real. It's built. Like, yeah. yeah. It's built for PC. It is. Yeah. But in in the Down way to having to keep your dog alive, like so, exactly, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. You, like if 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 they get if they all they need to do is add like and they they all they need to do is add like true custom ability into D2, and you can all and you would be able to get it to that point. Now everything that you would want to customize in D2 now, it's all are it's all random. It's all random. So if you want to run a shotgun build which you have unflinching shotgun, um, target acquisition shotgun, shotgun ammo reserve, it's going to be hard for you to find, okay, I want this full suit, but I want this full suit with shotgun everything. That shit's damn near impossible. 
because now hey, you're. But don't that add the fun? To oh it? hell! Don't that oh, bring the fun back? listen. Let me let me. Like, I know what I'm looking for, bro. Now. I know Man. what I'm looking for now. It's a hand cannon in D in D two year one that was trash. I don't. I can't even say the name of it. It's the. It was the worst. But the reload animation on it was dope. It looked like some Hellboy type gun. Ooh. So I said. So, so when it I snapped and then yes, you threw the, yeah. When I heard that I was gonna be able to get that shit in D two, with random rolls, I said I'm finding the perfect one for PVE and PVP, and it's the highest input. So if I can get something with like range finder and kill clip, I could two tap people in the crucible Ooh. with it. And I'm looking for that because it's, I like that. I like searching for what you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, and then you may get one and it'd be the worst role. Like you, I can yeah. get one with the same perks from D2 or from D1 or D2 year one. Yeah. And I wouldn't be mad. I'd be, I'd be disappointed, but I'd be ready to go try to get it, get another one. And I'll yep. on it and keep like right now. That's all I'm saving my parts, my, my gun, my gunsmith par parts for is for that gun. So them bringing that back was amazing, and it's a lot of people are going to be grinding this game for the perfect gun now because now random rolls are back. Excuse me. And so, you know what? You know, I what I always loved about random rolls was the okay. The closest feeling I can give is when I got a um, what was that one cabal gun that everybody's in D two year one. D two uh, the Skyburner's oath. When I picked the up exotic, the yeah, yeah. When I when I grabbed the Skyburner's oath and a drop, or I forgot how I got it. It had to be a drop, mm -hmm. and everybody was hot. <laughs> People you know, sending you they, messages. They was like, yeah. <laughs> what was the perk on that? Where you would be in the? I remember I'd be in the air, and it would just be letting off. Um, I forgot what if it you, was. I know that if you aim, if you aim down sight, it slowed the fire rate, but it boosted the the damage. That's what and it then, was. And uh, then if you crucible tagging, pop, if you pop, shot, pop, pop, if you pop. shoot, you don't want to. You you think you was good with that shit now? Try that shit, or then try that shit now. The bullets actually track people. If you is <laughs> and it has explosive rounds on it. <laughs> It got I thought it. I was the shit with Man, my Skyburner. I was... Bro, excuse me. Let me plug my charger on oh, my, my controller up. Um, I was playing competitive, trying to get that Redrix, which I did not uh, complete. And uh, this dude was running the Skyburner's Oath. And I'm getting hit. I'm like, yo, what is hitting me? Then I, I'm like trying to get closer, trying to hug the wall. And I died. And I seen what the dude hit me for. I was like, this fool is cheating. Yo, he got aimed by. He's shooting me through the wall. And then, ah. I, then I realized what he, shook, what he shot me with. I had to go look at the perks. I'm like, let me read these perks again. I took my glasses off <laughs> and everything. But, um, yeah, they, they broke some of these guns. Graviton Lance, broken. That shit is disgusting in the Crucible. Um, Vigilance Wing. I, I wouldn't say Vigilance Wing broken. I would see. You know why I hated the Vigilance Wing? Why? The it took up so much of my screen. I didn't realize how <laughs> much. That's funny. I remember that. That's there, that's uh, that is Destiny too. These yeah. guns feel like I ain't holding the gun, but they feel yeah. heavy and bulky and big. Yeah, I'm like, why can't I see the whole right hand? Like, yo, I can't like, see the right. Yeah quadrant of my screen what is yeah, going on here he <laughs> screen's gone yeah and then i like to look down sight so at the whole looking down and coming down through that whole time yeah that millisecond even though that all makes the difference mm, it does i can't i can't see what's going on because i'm bringing down this cannon yeah but know, that but this vision. is this is why pvp feels so good on pc or let me not say feels looks so good on pc because the snappiness of it, of that 60 frames per second, and then the the way that these people actually move around with the uh, with the mouse, using mouse and keyboards, feels like it's this is how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? So like when I watch people play uh, competitive matches or uh, scrim, because they, I think with this change, this this D2 patch, this patch 2.0. 
Uh, mm -hmm. It's going to really uh, boost up the competitive scene to Destiny 2. So a lot more people will be trying to play competitively now. Like actual tournaments, money tournaments and stuff like that. And obviously private matches are back. A lot of more people will be playing it because of the custom ability. And then the way that they can run these is actually all on them. Hey, no exotic armor pieces. Or hey, no exotic heavies. Stuff like that. People will run and set that up as the rule set. So um, so far, man, I'm, I'm going to just say this is going to be my last point on it. I'm, I'm going to say so far I'm enjoying it. I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10 right now because I don't know what it is i haven't finished it the raid hasn't even came out yet so we'll see I, I think the enemies are dope i think the way they set um aldrin up to be the bad guy to be the villain is dope um I, you know them having to kill this is how drastic destiny had to they bungie had to do they had to kill cade six <laughs> they had to kill cade six like the most just... loved character mm -hmm. Out of all three Vanguard, the most, the only one with a personality, they had and to kill K six, and that's what was I honestly was so thrown off because I was like, he was the co comedic relief. Yes, like um, you would hear some funny stuff out of a, a, a Cora, but it was more or less in response to Cade. Cade. Yes, it was never just like on her own. She would just be outright like hilarious. Yeah, it was always. I heard K did this. Da 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 da. Exactly. Um, like I said, I think it would have been more epic to kill Zavala and watch K go on a killing spree. At, but I, I'm gonna tell you why I feel like Bungie had to kill K. Uh, I felt they were looking at feeling was expensive. Not not only that, they were looking <laughs> at uh, they were looking at stream numbers. They were looking at content creator numbers. They were looking at people who played the game and realized not a lot of people was playing this game. So what yeah. do you do? What do you do Blast to get people it. back? Something to break the game. Hey, K dies. K dies. Everybody's K dies. What do you looking mean? Around like, what are you lying? I remember about? when I seen the hashtag trending on Twitter. I said, Cade. Rest in yeah. peace, Cade. I... Rest in peace, Cade. Yeah, for Cade. Yeah, I'm looking. And then it I up. watched the trailer, and I was like, oh. Yeah, the second trailer was. Yeah. <sighs> the second trailer was like. Damn, you know, and even when you play, on style. man, when you play the story mission, though, it's actually because it it plays the trailer first and then it reverts back and then you're running through the mission with Kate. Kate. It's hilarious. It's one of the greatest story missions of all time in the Destiny universe. And you're running through and he's he was like, you go high. Spoiler I go, alert. He, he said, you go low. I go high. Yeah. Spoiler alert. And uh He's literally well. Actually, it's not really a spoiler because you knew he died. You know he dies. Yeah. Well, you're running through, you're running through the bottom because you're going low and he's going high, and out of nowhere you just see him golden gun, like a like one of the enemies jumped high to hit him and he just slid under him, and then he golden gunned him and then he and he stops and he looks at you and he throws a grenade over his shoulder and he says something to you and as soon as you get up there you see the explosion it was the i said oh man see k, k man only k. hunter that i really had mad respect for all you hunter mains out there in the world you're trash damn you're trash but you didn't like them shadow stepping with a blade no it's just hunters feel like they the shit but they not Back from D one, I I got into this. That leader is dead. I got into this. Uh, this um, he was a clanmate at the time. He's real chill. He didn't know. I, he didn't know it was me. I jumped into the party and I was like, uh, "Warlocks, um, Warlocks is the master race." How could you say that? He went into this whole tirade. I'm like, bro, listen, hunters do nothing. Y'all guys are selfish. <laughs> you guys have nothing that helps me. Titans yeah. help me with bubble. Y'all not no squad, no <laughs> squad help at all. I was Let me like, go ahead and go sneak over here and get this kill. I was like, I listen, I was like, listen, it, I, I could just bring up so many different opportunities. They had to give you guys something to help us. They had to make something for you guys to help us. Shadow shot is the only thing that was. A, oh yeah, we need orbs. Shadow shot, <laughs> shadow shot, and then we get orbs back. But now nah, they um. I'm like I was I was telling him I'm like listen bro you think any of y'all would have cleared the raid 
before it got easy for people. Hunters, hell no. You guys sucked. I was you could only knock you could only knock off like easily knock off Atheon with a warlock. You could do it with the Titan, but you only have two grenades and you gotta place them shits perfect. I said, bro, there's nothing a warlock can do. Y'all can't knock y'all can't knock Atheon off with anything y'all have. Y'all can't do anything. Y'all couldn't y'all could not have done anything to have beaten that raid. He was like, so, so <laughs> I'm like, bro, relax, man. <laughs> Okay, so, so enough with destiny. Enough with destiny. Let me tell you, That's a good thirty minutes, man. Bro, let me explain to you. I got. I think I'm gonna take up the rest of the time with this one. Go ahead, man. Um, I don't know if I even told you. I went to a all night Dungeons and Dragons like session. You didn't tell me, but I seen you posted something on. Uh, I want to say it was Instagram. So, so I was just waiting um, for you to say, you know what I'm saying? Waiting for you to say something, you know what I'm saying? It's so all good, from, though. It's all good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all hey, good, man. It's so all from good. 8 p.m. to 3 in the morning. Oh, hell no. <laughs> That's a Monopoly from game. Eight, <laughs> from 8 p.m. to 3 in the morning, I ran my first, like, ever run of Dungeons & Dragons. How did I that didn't run, go? Okay. So... First off, the dice were not in my favor. They were they were in my favor for when I rolled my character stats. Mm-hmm. I think I think my lowest stat was like eleven. Okay. So I had 17, 16. Like I was crushing. Yeah. I was I was doing great. Okay. So I was a I am a half orc rogue, inquisitive rogue. Um who is neutral. Is a kleptomaniac and loves and always takes an opportunity of stealing from rich people. Um, I was not I was not orc enough for my clan. So and then I wasn't human enough or elf enough or whatever the other half was for the other group. Oh man. So i I was a street urchin and I would just look for family anywhere I can find it. And uh-huh. I I care for my people to a fault. Sound like Robin so, Hood. <laughs> basically a buff ass robin hood so and then my name was fridge because i stay cool under pressure shut uh, up yeah so that that you was you know what that was something you, you didn't roll that you came up with that no, your you damn came self up with that, yeah my you name was fridge yeah hi cool fridge <laughs> uh, so that was my character's backstory now let me tell you when i tell you the, the guy our dungeon master uh, told us like this. He was like, the story is this long. You guys did this much. (laughs) Because we kept taking every other route possible. Mm -hmm. And then our first fight was against these giant ass wolves. And my dumb self kept rolling low, terrible numbers. I'm missing arrow shots. My partner ended up shooting our our hand-to-hand combat partner in the uh in the side so she enters her own partner then we got an elephant dude and he's not doing nothing <laughs> elephant dude what are you guys persian yeah. bro <laughs> we, yes basically you know what i kept calling us i called us the guardians of the land mm-hmm. because it was like have you seen that show on disenchantment oh okay i'll go to sleep i'm sorry what'd you say <laughs> oh you heard me <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, Have you seen the I show muted just, myself. My, no, my, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I did. <laughs> nah. I was like, all right, I'll go back now. I thought I did. Okay. Hey, well, so while, I, I, while I'm, I'm going to put you on. Well, yeah, okay, she good. <laughs> so have you seen the show Disenchantment um, on Netflix? No, I have not. Okay, well, you've seen Futurama, right? Yes, I have. So you know how they always magically mess up? in the worst possible way and then it works out yes that was our whole adventure oh so i ended up becoming because i didn't think oh i'm a street urchin that that's gonna affect how much gold i start with <laughs> i ended up starting with 10 pieces of gold oh shit everybody else in my group we got a monk we got this rich sailor elephant dude and then uh i got a ranger they all 40 gold mm-hmm. 70 gold this gold, that gold, my bro. So who dictates guys. what? Go, how much gold you start with? Well, it's based on like your stats. So your character, what, what, 
class you're going to go into this that like what gear and stuff you start with that's more or less how it how it dictates oh. it's all based on this book i don't have a book because i i gotta order one but yeah the dungeons and dragons like player's manual everything's dictated in there so like mm. if you pick by me picking a half orc already has certain abilities that were bonuses okay then and by me you picking, picking your characters is off of a roll or no you pick your characters how you want oh okay. um, you know, some people there. Some people get mad at you, like, why in the hell would you be a full orc rogue? Like, ain't no orc sneaking around picking pockets. Like, why would <laughs> you no do big that? ass like, orc? Why, yeah, like, why wouldn't you pick a wood elf who's tiny or yeah. halfling or you know what I mean? Can you be so, a ninja though? No, but a so rogue. I, I a can't rogue be a ninja be with shadow sneak a attacks. A rogue. That's a rogue. A rogue would be that. But do I get to wear like the ninja thing and wear all black? Uh, if you want to wear all black, there is an assassin class for the rogue. Yeah, that's what I want. I want I yeah. want sneak attacks where I can dip into my shadow. Yeah, like, can I um, do you that? Would have, yes, you would have to be. I want to say level five, and then you get to pick your class. Like so, yeah. no nope, nobody can touch me. Like I I can poof be gone type shit. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> so let me break down my first fight. Okay. So. Dungeon Master, this is how he starts off. He was like, "You guys are on a mission to go grab a um, to go grab a professor and take him to this area." Simple enough. And I was like, "Oh, this ain't never simple." <laughs> so, uh, and it's dope because the our Dungeon Master, he was super into it. He yeah. was really into it. Shout out to Vince, you're the, you're the best. He was he super helpful. It was cool. Well, all he tells us there's a road veers to the left. What do you guys want to do? And I was like, okay, well, I want to get off my horse and go scout ahead because it just makes sense because I don't know what's around the corner because this don't sound too friendly. And I don't want my horse to get slaughtered. Now I got to walk everywhere. <laughs> so I, I dismount, get off my horse. And you really have to talk about what you want to do. Okay. And, and then you always roll for everything. So we, we get there, and uh, um, the monk character comes with me, and we see some sheep herders. And then the sheep herders... Uh, he says they get all afraid because, of course, you got some random people on the road, and I'm thinking they're used to being attacked by bandits. Well, all of a sudden you hear giant uh, roars and grumbles in the bushes, so he was like, alright, what do you guys want to do? I was like, well, I am a rogue, and I know I can scout and got long distance and all these other abilities, so I would like to go and check, go hide in the bush, and then check and see if I can see what's in there. So, my partner goes and talks to the shepherds and tries to calm them down, I go into the bush, and as soon as I go into the bush, I basically start the battle, and j four giant wolves bust out. Okay. When I tell you we were the worst, <laughs> I rolled a one. <laughs> no, you? I didn't roll a one. I, I didn't say. roll a one. No, no, How no. How many I dice is it? No, well, you got so you got your d twenty, you got your d six, your d eight. I want to say your d four. I know for sure I used d six, d eight. And um, I want to say a D4. Okay. Which are just those weird. You know, you always see the dice. The weird looking funny, dice. I've always seen the weird looking dice and I never knew what the hell they were. Yeah. But now I know what they are. I just, um, I never knew what the heck they were either. Yeah. I know what they are now. Like for the most part. And you use the D20 the most. Okay. So you use the D20 for everything. Like I, um, I wanted to shoot one of the wolves and he was like, all right, roll. And I rolled plus my stat bonus and I still didn't hit. So I'm missing arrows, Wait, and then who dictates if you hit or not? The game, the dungeon master. He's basically God. Uh okay. Jeez. But but he's fair. He's how he's is that fair? fair? How you boost your stats well, and because then you, you miss. roll against him? He's rolling too. Oh, so he, okay. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So it's uh, like that okay. kind of gives it balance. It gives it balance. Like it, he's God. He can be a douche, but you can outplay like, God. You, yes, like you rolled. If you roll a natural twenty, boom, it's like, oh, okay, well, all right, fine, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you win, good for you. Mm -hmm. Like, and, so um, is there like a a book or like things he yes. goes through that say, hey, if you roll yeah. over this number, you succeed or you fail? Yes, okay, and yeah. failing and, and failing is totally be up to him. Yes, like so he he I determines. I, I want to say, can he determine? Go Can ahead. he determine how you fail? Yes. Like you bank it off the tree and stab your friend. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. And let me 
and that's, let me t- and that's what makes the story so funny and why you really do need a good dungeon master to keep the keep it going so i ended up okay let's get past the fight because that took forever and we got our asses handed to us and we barely killed one wolf and then the rest left okay so we finally get as a noobs yeah oh big time so one of the sheep herders died and i'm being me being in character i'm the kleptomaniac that i am oh, so i'm like oh well let me try to loot the corpse <laughs> so i roll <laughs> so i roll and i didn't roll high enough to successfully loot the corpse without being busted and he's like oh so you're just gonna what are you doing man I have respect for the dead and I'm thinking, I'm, I was like, shit, am I going to have to kill this guy? <laughs> and he he pauses. He was like, so are you saying that as your character uh-huh. out loud? I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm <laughs> like, I was saying that like a joke. As a joke. Yeah, because yeah. you you know, if you really want to have fun with it, you got to get into it. Yeah, do stuff. And like that's what that. I tell anybody. If you, it's like going to medieval times. You know it's fake, but if, if you get enough grog, and you and you got enough food. Oh. <laughs> Have fun. Have yeah. fun. And you know me, man. I nerded all the way out. Of I course you the- did. <laughs> I felt like I was playing the realest, dopest game of Skyrim. Mm-hmm. Like Skyrim to level 10. Because I was like, well, hell. I didn't okay, let me give you a perfect example. I didn't want to pay for my room. Because once again, only had ten gold, <laughs> and we had to stay the night until the morning to go talk to the to the people. Yeah, because we took so long at the fight. Yeah, we got the fight. <laughs> so I was like, he was like, yeah, the barmaid, and I was like, oh, so it's a woman. He's like, yeah, her name is Stale Beard, whatever, whatever. And mm-hmm. I was like, can I sleep with her? <laughs> and he was like, well, you could try. He was like, so go ahead and roll, roll uh, for persuasion. And so I rolled for persuasion. Hit a natural 20, and he was like, so what are you going to say? I was like, oh, hey, you know, seems like it's not too many young men around here. Mm-hmm. Like, they uh, throw, you know, you need okay. somebody to keep you warm at night and safe <laughs> from the wolves. Mm-hmm. And it's it's weird because the dungeon master plays all NPCs. Oh, shit. So he has to reply. <laughs> he has to, yeah. So it, it got super strange, but I'm having fun playing the damn game. Mm-hmm. It It is okay so i'm a backup so the part that's so crazy to me is when i tell people this because i talked to of course my wife and then my co-workers and um my wife was like it sounds like you were playing a game like a video game <laughs> uh yeah the way you're describing it and i was like that's how it felt yeah. i didn't i knew i was gonna have fun because i was gonna do my best to have fun i mean hell i paid 15 bucks to go kick it from 8 to 3 a.m so yeah. i was gonna make sure i had a good time mm-hmm. i had too much damn fun I I'm tell. talking. I'm talking. I'm trying to hit the high notes. So I ended up hooking up with the bar maiden. Oh, so shit. The bar maiden, um, I used my perception investigation skills to search her room. And while, of course, after, you know, she And died, you successfully got away with that? I successfully stole stuff out of her room, which ended up being a love potion. Oh, shit. And okay. I ended up having to sleep with somebody else oh. because they sprayed the love potion on themselves. And I needed my team to steal something from their store. Mm. So, um, <laughs> it, like, like, I was like, what the hell's going on here? It sounds all it bad. Was, it, was, it was bad, bro. It was like Bad News Bears, but adventure style. Yeah. Like, we did everything wrong. <laughs> I was stealing from... This guy tried to sell us, like, snake oil as uh, potions. And I ended up convincing him. Uh, I ended up using my perception of our... Uh, Investigation or perception, I can't remember. You got a bunch of different stats that you could roll for to see if he was lying. Because the way he was talking, I was like, ah, I don't know. This sounds fake. Yeah. I'm talking about potions of invincibility and this and that. And it ended up being like goat piss. So as he turned away to point me to the real potion, uh, I was like, I'm going to roll to sneak and steal something off his table. Yeah. And he was like, go ahead. And I ended up rolling and rolling enough to steal from him as he looked away. So when he looked away, I, I swiped two daggers from him. One of the daggers ended up being fake because I didn't roll high enough to get the fake all hundred percent success. You know, success. Yeah. And then of course we gotta have fun. And then um, then we get to the real shopkeeper with the potions, 
and this dude has a black hole that leads to another portal mm -hmm. but i didn't know what it was and i was like oh well i want to investigate i'm having fun any little thing i could do you sound I, like you were pissing people off <laughs> no that's what it, i'm telling you only my side of it yeah i couldn't let me tell you how bad my teammates were we first get to the damn tavern and these fools want to have a drinking contest <laughs> Sound so, like alcoholics. <laughs> well, well, our partner, the elephant dude, he's a sailor who all of his uh, family and pirate crew or ship crew got murdered, and now he's an outraging alcoholic. So he goes in there and give the dude's like eight hundred something pounds. Yeah, and he was like, "Oh, hey, you know, I want to buy a barrel of uh, ale." <laughs> so he ends up dropping thirty gold because he can afford it. Nah, shit. Yeah, they're balling. I'm the poor one, so I have to like do something strange or some change, just to survive. I want to see. I want to hear what you left the game with with go. I wish you know what I'm so stupid. I should have brought my. Um, I still have like my stat sheet and everything. Okay. Um. Let, here, matter of fact, let me check. But okay, so my teammates they were having drinking contests. They were. Uh, what else did they do? They reminded me of like dope stuff to do because I'm like I had the potion and I didn't know what it was because I didn't give the lady a chance to spray it. Mm -hmm. And I gave it to the alchemist, uh, the alchemist dude who creates the potions and he sprayed it on himself. And then he ended up falling in love. And then I was like, well, we got to steal something from him. So my character, I guess, was bisexual. I don't know. Uh -oh. But I ended up hooking up with the store guy. Yeah, we got all the potions. <laughs> got so everything you needed. <laughs> got everything we needed. I was like, Jesus Christ, this is crazy. I feel um, like, I, bro, I, I feel like now I feel like what Tyler Perry feels like. Uh, you stupid. <laughs> oh, you're stupid. <laughs> so, um, I can travel through cities twice as fast. I got a bunch of different skills. Yeah. Um, I ended up with a disguise kit, thieves tools. Um, Dang man! Leather, yeah, leather armor, short sword, two well, three daggers because one of the daggers was fake. So yeah, I would have had four. Um, I got a pet mouse. I got a small knife. I was breaking into people's stuff. I was stealing off of dead bodies. Um, hmm. I, I was doing everything I could, and then we got attacked by a goddamn owl bear. A what? An owl bear. Owl now what make? Now, what made this moment so epic, and I'm going to shut up about the, it. Was it the head of the owl, body of yeah, the bear? Yeah, bear. Anything that it? got an owl head, and I ain't messing with it. It's scary as fuck. I know. Bro. Anything. Okay. They're scary. <laughs> but, but peep this, though. So what made it so intense was the dude, once again, you need a good dungeon master to really get you into the, like, into the game. Yeah. This dude was fucking into it. He was like, so you guys are traversing through the woods. Then all of a sudden he starts fucking snarling and hooting like an owl. I was like, "What the hell is wrong with him, bro? It's tripping." <laughs> and then he pulls out his book and he was like, "This is what you guys see in the distance." And I was like, "Motherfucking owl bear!" Motherfucking owl bear! Like I'm sitting there, tr and you know I cuss a lot, so I'm yeah. sitting there. I'm like, "The fucking owl bear!" And owlbear. he's hooting and growling, and I'm like, "Okay." So our partner casts this like shadow spell. But the problem with the shadow spell is it blocks everybody's vision. So everybody blind. Yeah. So it's like, oh, okay. Well, I jump up in the tree. And of course, I didn't roll high enough. So I'm only like 10 feet in the, in <laughs> the, the tree. first branch. <laughs> yeah. Like where the damn owlbear can pick me off like a fresh berry. Yeah. So then he rolls. Uh, so we go through another turn. And I'm like, okay. Well, I want to jump to another tree like Tarzan so I can get a better advantage point. He was like, okay, roll for it. So I roll lower than like 12. Oh, shit. And I end up falling. And then I land into the shadows and I take damage. But then the owlbear is now smelling for me because he heard me. Yeah. So my next turn, I was like, well, I want to shoot in the direction. I want to take my short bow and shoot in the direction of the owlbear. I, of course, roll a crappy number like five or something real low yeah and miss the owlbear almost kill my ranger partner's panther uh -oh. then now my partner was like okay well i'm gonna dispel the uh the shadows and i was like no don't do that the owlbear is right here <laughs> owlbear <And> somewhere she, <laughs> she was like i think they were sick of me at this point because she was like well you made the mistake of going in the tree i was like partner 
Wait. <laughs> she dispels, and I didn't realize I didn't say to get up. So my character is still, still on the, the ground gosh, next no. to the owlbear, and then my elephant drunk friend decides to go in rage mode because he's a barbarian. <laughs> Fool. And he goes in rage mode and rolls a one. I'm next to the owl. <laughs> he ends up chopping me. I take 12 damage. And and then we had to call it because at that point it was three like 3.15 in the morning. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> it was over. It was all bad. We all did. Bro, <laughs> I was like, what? And he was like, why'd you guys jinx me? I said, I begged you not to go to enrage <laughs> mode now, now I got on the advantage side. Let me ask you a question. So as you're going through this this story. Oh, and I got the shopkeeper killed because I asked him to come with me so we could use his uh, his inner dimension portal. But he ended up dying by the owlbear. I forgot about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. I killed an NPC. Casualties of war. <laughs> Bro, but, I just wanted this portal. But go ahead. But, um... So when you're as you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, uh, is this like everybody gets a turn, or is it like, hey, you just call it? It, I that's what I thought. I thought it was turn based, but it was more or less like you kind of just naturally go with it. Okay. Uh, and the one major rule that I liked about this was um, the the guy who ran the full session because it was multiple sessions going on. It was like five uh, sessions going at once. He the the main rule was no meta gaming. Basically, you once you're in character, you're the character. So if somebody opens a chest and they're on the other side of the house, you can't say, "Oh, now I walk over there and go open the chest," because you're not near them. So yeah. you don't know they open the chest. So you got to roll to get to the room first. You, you well, you got to you got to describe your actions. Only time you need to roll is for I want to do like or so actions. Um, basically, outside of when it comes to walking around, you don't need to roll. But when it comes to combat and walking around, you need to roll. Hmm. So, for example, I want to turn off my mic. Okay, roll for it. Give me a roll for, uh, for whatever that would be. Okay, I rolled I rolled a natural 20. Not only did you turn off your mic, you turned off your computer. Like, hmm, you, you know okay. what I mean? Like, that, that's type of, so that if, type of stuff. So, if you're happened. in a situation like with the owlbear, you could roll like, I want to shoot, then... Ro- like roll away from him. Yeah. You, okay, first you would shoot, and then you would say you would disengage. Okay. So you get an action, a bonus action, and something else. But you, have, you get three things to happen. But you got to roll to for s- that. Yes, and like um, when I was fighting the wolves, I was in the woods shooting with my short bow because I was in within eighty feet or whatever. So I had the range, and all of this stuff is described. Like, okay, you're this many feet away from your partner. What would you like to do? Would you like to move half the distance and use that as a, like you really have to talk about what you're doing, mm. and that also adds to the fun of it. So, in Dungeons and Dragons, can you have revolvers? No, I don't know. Unless they have a, unless they have a book where guns are in there. Damn, I wanted a sword and two dual revolvers. Well, you, I mean, you can get a so a sword and a, um, and you can get a crossbow. To, you can carry crossbows. Yeah, but I want I want dual revolvers. I need I need dual. Well, you could be ocelot of the 15th century out there with like crossbows. But dual, like that's like one shot at a time, though. That's like two shots. I need at least 12 shots. Well, I- I'm sorry, they didn't have Gatling guns <laughs> <laughs> like during the days of witch magic. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you'd probably want to be. I don't know. Like I just. I played with something I normally like play with. I usually always go in all my games rogue. Let me go rogue. Yeah. Let me be a rogue. Let me be a, a thief. Let me be. It's just it was so much fun though, man. Yeah. Like, and uh, the place I go to, I want to say they meet up every Sunday. Okay. Three to three to seven p.m. So you going so, back? Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I gotta finish that story. I have to finish that story. Oh, so they do they just like put it on pause and then y'all they reason? can yeah because the dungeon master he told us he was like you guys he like I said earlier he was like this is the story you guys finished like we didn't even we barely made it out of the town so what's when we got the mission we don't know I don't know <laughs> the dungeon master ain't gonna tell us 
I'm trying to think, uh, like, like, what the hell would Endgame that, be like? But all I, you know what show is really dope that you need to watch that gives you a good description of it is um, uh, Harmon Quest. Harmon Quest. Because the imagine everything I described to you, but somebody animated it like a cartoon. Okay. That's what Harmon Quest is. You literally got the guy from uh, Rick and Morty, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, oh, isn't this the the show where they like it's they like make, Dungeons and Dragons, but they it's, are playing Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I don't think they could use the word. Um, but it's like the, like they're really sitting at a table playing, yes, and then they animate it. What what they're doing is what we did. Oh, okay, cool. I think I've seen. I think this was on Twitch. I've seen it on Twitch before, bro. Yeah, hooked. Damn man, hooked. Didn't know you was going to go play some Dungeons and Dragons, man. I, well, you know how I found it, bro. There, so there's this place called Play Live Nation at the mall. Um, I know where. It's what, a, which mall? Uh, over at Tyler. Okay. So it's it's a art. It's a modern day arcade. Instead of having uh, like boxes and units, they got Xboxes and couches all along the walls. Is this and like uh, got, Howie's? It's without computers. Okay. It was how it's how he's without computers. Mm. So in the middle, though, so where imagine the computers replaced by board games. So in the middle, they got um, room for card games. Like when I first went, because we found it was just walking around. And oh damn, we ain't got enough time. That's another yeah, thing I want to yeah. talk about. Oh, my bad. I so told we'll, you I was gonna we'll, take up a bunch of time. Hey man, I'm cool with it. I was having a blast hearing about your story, bro. Oh my god, I'm hooked. Yeah. But so so we can we get walk- we can get to that next episode. Yeah, because yeah. I want to tell you about my Fitbit adventures now. Um, Fitbit? Uh-oh. Fitbit. Oh, it's oh, bad, man. Okay. It's so competitive. Mm-hmm. Who, who, who are you work. challenging? So, Kylie and my coworker. But it's so bad. Like, <laughs> they sent me a message. All of a sudden, I got an alert. Right now, that's what I was looking at my phone. I got an alert. Oh, so-and-so passed you up. Uh-oh. And they're they're up by like eight hundred steps, and mm. I was like, I'm going on a run. <laughs> and like hit the block. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'll be back. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm. If I had my watch on, no lie, I'd be uh huh steps in because I refuse to lose. I didn't realize how competitive I. And so this fit. Nah, you you. I think you competitive in selective things. Like you ain't you you more do stuff for fun. Unless yeah, you win, sure. then it's like. Then it's beat I'm you. rubbing it in people's face. Beat yeah. you. But this is this is real. Yeah. This is like very real. <laughs> um I don't appreciate it. And I, I I'm not gonna lose. Man. They should be in bed. I don't know what they out here on this They out here getting it in. Yeah, it's late stupid. night grinds. <laughs> yeah. Nah, you do late night sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> they probably just walking around their crib. That's what I nah. do. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to put mine on and bust laps. Bust laps around the kitchen. <laughs> laps, walking laps. Damn, um, man. Well, I'm, I'm glad you got to experience it. It's something that I've wanted to try before. I just never... I And there's there's actually okay. a couple... Huh? Your mic went out for a sec. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think it's probably because I stepped away. But um, it's something that I've always wanted to try. Something I always was interested in. And I know we talked about it here on one of the, one of the episodes, one of the previous episodes. So um, I'm glad you got to experience it. So now I have to do one. I yes. have to be a part of one soon because, bro, you would have so much fun. Mm-hmm. Like, it, like I wouldn't recommend it for everybody, but if you enjoy RPG gaming and you've always like wanted to live a customized adventure, this is it. This is it. Like, I just figured. You, like, I figured you you had to. Now that you you kind of explained the rules to me. It seems like how I always thought about it. Like you had to have some type of imagination. Like you had to you be had, able to, oh, you, oh, you know, to, to 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 and but but you know what playing video games does? It kind of gives you that. Like it gives you things that you can do. Like you can take some of your favorite games and pull something, pull some type of action that was that has happened. Bro. You I know? was I was thinking Assassin's Creed. I what I wanted to do, yeah, and I probably could have done it was like I want to jump over the owl bear, and as I'm jumping over him, take my short bow and fire a shot off in his at eye. him. Yeah, I, like I wanted. I felt like if I would have said that, I would have been able to. Let me know in the comments for those who play D and D, 
like would that have been a possible move which i really think it would have. Mm-hmm. and um i remember i disengaged and hid behind my elephant friend after he attacked me and then we ended it yeah mm-hmm. that's what happened but i begged that dude bro i Please legit like, do it. <laughs> like i was like let's pause Please, we've been rolling terrible all night. <laughs> Don't we, do the it. dice were not in our favor, bro. Yeah. When I tell you, I rolled at least six ones that night. Ah uh, no. Done. I rolled at least six ones, like myself. That's not yeah. counting my crew. We were rolling really bad, but it made it funny. <laughs> it made it so damn funny. Um, and he was like, "Oh, I got it! I got it! I got this!" And he enraged mode with a bonus attack, swung his great axe, and hit me. Destruction. Destruction. <laughs> well, it looks like we're at that mark. Holy oh, crap. Man. Oh, yes. We're there. And th- we just started, too. But I, yeah. you know what? It's two great things have happened this week. And uh, Forsaken came out. You got to enjoy Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. And uh, there's actually a lot of stuff we missed. Yeah. Um, like, r- real quick. Henry Cavill, uh, Henry Cavill, Superman is now Henry, uh, Geralt of Rivia mm. for the Witcher. Yes, Superman is playing Geralt. Geralt. You know what's so funny? I did not picture him playing that role, but then when I seen somebody draw the design up, yeah, he looked great. I was like, oh, okay. I know the man can act because he gave emotion to Superman. Yeah, well, but you know what? All of them, all of the like the 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 medieval times and those era characters the stuff that they wear you ever see like shows when they take them off they be all super buff Whoa. like super cut he'd Whoa. fit right in <laughs> yeah he'd oh he's right gonna be in. perfect yeah so he just gotta grow his hair out it'll be good he'd probably been already growing it out he probably got the little mini ponytail hey he got a man bun <laughs> right yeah you know we gotta get spider-man right i'm not buying spot i'm tired of beating spider-man games until like, Marvel we, gives me a Carnage movie, I ain't buying no more damn Spider Man. Hey, we've been beating Spider Man games. I've been beating Spider Man games since I was young. I've been playing them since Sega. I'm tired of playing Spider. I'm tired of jumping around the same city. Maximum Carnage, man, that game was raw. Listen, Marvel need to need to cut that, put everything aside and appease to me, to me. <laughs> To me. If you don't piece to me, I ain't playing that shit. Give it to me. Hey, so. you know what? You know what? Do you really want it though? Dope? I I mean, I'll pick it up. You gonna get it? You know, if I'm gonna get it, it's gonna be digital. Of course. Well, look, <laughs> well, look though, real quick, and I'm yeah. gonna shut up after this. Okay. The Spider-Man game where you got to pick your, uh, you got to choose paths. That was dope. I forgot what it was called. Is that uh, a recent one? Yes. It, oh, okay. it was on like 360, I want to say, 360 and PS3. Yeah. Where it had to do with like Venom and depending on if you went evil or you went good. Mm-hmm. And you would have to fight like Wolverine. You could either save your Oh, or, that was I, on. That no. was dope. That thing, that was on PS3, was it? The yeah, it one, was PS3. yeah, the and one where the symbiote got everywhere. Yes. And it got into Venom. Or it got into not Venom, it got into Wolverine. Wolverine. Everybody that I had that on PlayStation. That what well, I would say I would agree with you. That was the best. You Spider-Man. know what? No lie. Do you remember the intro? No, I don't. I, that game I was so actually, long ago. You know what? The, let me tell you why I remember the intro. And I, like I said, I'll shut up. That intro, the cinematic was so intense. He had to. I want to say he had to pick between like saving a kid and somebody dying. And he, it, it was like almost emotional. Yeah. Um, it was a lot of heavy choices. It was trying to show you basically. Yeah. I'll watch it. I might do a review for that. Like mm-hmm. just because all time. I may look for that Spider Man game because since I got the PlayStation Three hooked back up, I may. I've been really thinking that about game, playing some, that game. I'm gonna tell you Man. why that game was dope. But like, you, like you're talking about the whole picking and choosing. Remember when you remember when you were being called f- 
for stuff and then your spidey senses went off for something that was going on so like a lady was being robbed and you had to go uh-huh. get her find her purse or somebody just needs to be transported to the hospital and uh-huh. you like had to go pick it and then it was almost like you you failed in a sense and yep. won at the same time it was that game was dope i remember everything that had game. consequences yeah everything I, had consequences i remember because i remember venom i remember the symbiote getting into wolverine and i was like and you had to fight him at the bar yeah, yeah. I said, no. that was intense didn't you throw his bike at him yeah you like you could throw his bike at him i want to say it was it was intense yeah i'm trying to it see was, if I, can... I forgot what that damn game was called man i re- i remember oh here we go here's the picture of it i'm gonna bring it up right now on the screen i need that actually oh web of shadows there you go spider-man that web of shadows that was that that spider-man the movie two, um spider-man the game two. Uh-huh. that was revolutionary because remember that was the i want to say spider-man to the game was the first full open world spider-man okay where, remember you got to start delivering pizzas blah 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 blah. like yeah. all of that was there okay. and then this one here let me uh I'm gonna bring it up right now because uh, the this was the dope picture of Venom uh, when the symbiote got to. Uh... Uh yeah, this is the picture right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to you. Got you. But yeah, this 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 picture right here on screen right now was the um, the picture he's talking about from the game we're talking about, Web of Shadows. Actually, this is the this is the spice scene where you have to fight the symbiote when it's it took over Wolverine. The game was dope. Yep. And then there, I want to say there was multiple endings. I want to say there was like three. I know for sure there was two endings, but I I want to say there was more than two. I'm pretty sure because this was like the the time where games were starting to take that term that that turn of like multiple uh, choice endings. yeah multiple choicing things stuff like that. So there, I just sent the I just sent the picture to you. Oh yep, that was it. That's this was the game. So yeah, but enough of that. Enough. Subscribe, 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 Ooh, subscribe, it. subscribe. Check out all our links. I'm gonna get T Jones to build up his uh, Patreon page so he can have one too. Patreon. Um, and, I actually got we, one. I just don't market oh, it like that. Oh well, man, you gotta sell out, man. I Do know. Some strange man. with some change. I know. Not like my rogue character though. You ain't gotta go around doing yeah, all that. Yeah, I, I don't think I want to take that path. You ain't gotta turn on the red light. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take that path, stand. man. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> stupid. Oh uh, well, folks. No, I'm I'm happy we're back. I'm gonna make a job out of this, man, and I want to be here every Monday or Tuesday and really get this going. I want to do every week. Every no week. Breaks. Yeah, and we, like I said, things Life happen. happens. Things happen. We had to take a break for a bit. But we back, man. We back. Uh, we don't want to bore you with um, the reasons why, but th- things happen and we're back. As I long got the, as we can't be. lighting, too. Man. Yeah, and he, you know, he finally stepped out of the web of shadows and into, oh, ho, oh, oh, clutch. <laughs> he did that. Yes, Now we're getting that. awkward. I'm yeah. Aaron J67. I'm T. Jones. Subscribe. And Peace. Peace.